Hey guys, it's Greg Jones for Engine Builder. We are here in Mooresville, North Carolina, today talking with Pete Gibbons of Gibbons Motorsports. And right here next to us is a 598 cubic inch big block Chevy, and it's our Engine of the Week. Engine Builders Engine of the Week is sponsored by Pen Grade One, L Ring DOS Original, and NPW. Pete, thanks so much for having us out to the shop. Uh, excited to look around. And of course, this 598 Big Block Chevy is one of the engines that we saw. Uh, and I understand it's actually one of your, your brother's builds here yeah. and something that, that he's been working on. Um, so if you would, give us kind of a rundown of the history of the build and uh, some of the details and stuff. Yeah. yeah, no, this is my little brother's motor, big block for the little brother. Yeah. It's a yeah, 598, all aluminum, just pump gas, hot rod motor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Taken to the extreme. That's awesome. It's got uh, BB3, Rodex heads and Rodex block, manifold, everything from them, so. Okay. Now, how about some of the internals? Um, in terms of rotating assembly, maybe some of the valve train stuff. Yeah, it's got um, Molnar crank, Molnar rods, uh, JE piston, um, all coated bearings. It's got a 55 millimeter comp cam, okay. um, 937 Crower bushing lifters. Yeah. And then it's got Jessel uh, shaft system on the heads. So. Okay. Yeah. Very good. Pretty Overkill, like I say, for a street. <laughs> yeah. For a street motor, and it's just 10 to one compression. We just kept it kept it down, you know, for yeah. running pump gas, so. Yeah. And uh, we are running the coil pack stuff. Mm -hmm. MSD, so, yeah. Yeah. He didn't want the typical uh, LS swap, so we made a big block LS motor. It's got LS firing order cam and EFI coil packs, so that yeah. kind of thing, something now, different. Was there anything particular that, that he liked about that LS firing order? Yeah, we use that in all of our uh, endurance race stuff, like our dirt late model motors and bunch of our drag race stuff yeah. and uh it just it sounds different in the yeah. big block <laughs> it doesn't it sounds like something cool so yeah i just tried it out so absolutely yeah and the coil packs and i mean the thing sits there and idles smooth as can be yeah. <laughs> and makes you know 900 horsepower so. yeah and it's an it's an na yeah build, it's right? na yeah. 10 to yeah. 1 yeah and it's light you know that's what we want it's got belt exodyne belt drive brodex aluminum block and Pretty lightweight stuff. Dan Olson oil pan. Yeah. yeah. So excellent. Yeah. Now, can't ignore it up top this enormous carburetor here. Can you give us a couple specs on what? Yeah, that? this is actually a, a Holly Sniper EFI unit. Okay. Uh, it's their stealth. So when you have air cleaner on, it looks like a carburetor. Gotcha. But it actually does have injectors and okay. in bowls here. Okay. So and that's what the little bit of stuff here is. Yeah. Runs off the cam cam sensor in the back. Yep. Basically electronic carburetor. It's gotcha. a 1440 CFM. Uh, throttle body basically, so yeah, more than enough. He He's, went he went for the gold, just kind of looked you know yeah. old school. It's going in yeah, a yeah, uh, '69 C10 short bed truck, so okay, yeah, definitely has gives it the classic yeah. look. Yeah, it's got all the race stuff. You know, we got Jones pulley kit and all this other stuff going on, and then the, we thought that looked cool, just having the old school yeah definitely. poly gold on there. So definitely. Uh, so Pete, you said your brother, you know, is, he's using it in his C10 truck, and it's really just a, a street engine, right? Yeah, it's just going to be a street truck. He's got a 4L80 overdrive transmission going behind it, and it's going to be a rowdy, <laughs> pretty yeah. rowdy street yeah, truck. Right? Yeah, 900 but, horsepower. Yeah, yeah, awesome. So it's just something to do burnouts and just mess around in. So yeah, and having a having all the stuff here in front of us, you know, we always like the the high end parts. So yeah. he went for it all. Uh, Pete, anything else about the engine or any of the internals that we're leaving out? Um, I think that's pretty much all of it. All it. Yeah, these are Dan Olson valve covers and pan, like I mentioned. Yep. Um, Jessel rockers. It's got uh, Rev stainless valves, trend push rods. It's pretty much awesome. everything. Awesome. Well, Pete, we appreciate you telling us about this awesome 598 cubic inch big block Chevy, guys. We appreciate you all watching this episode of Engine of the Week. Make sure you're checking out everything that Pete's doing here at Gibbons Motorsports. And as always, make sure you're checking out enginebuildermag.com for more great engine content. We appreciate you watching and we'll see you guys next time.